Hi, I'm Mario Diaz, and this is OLG University, where we are connected to God through solid catechesis and evangelization. Trivia Tuesday videos will not get you any closer to salvation, but they sure will make you look like a super sharp Christian. Today our topic is the San Damiano Cross. The San Damiano Cross was the cross which St. Francis was praying in front of when the Lord asked him to rebuild the church. The original cross still hangs in Santa Chiara St. Clare Church in Assisi, Italy. At first, St. Francis thought the Lord was asking him to remodel the church, but what God really wanted him was for St. Francis to rebuild the church with a big C, the Catholic Church. This is a picture of a Damiano cross which I own. I really love this crucifix and it's a very popular crucifix for Catholics. But at the same time, many Catholics love it for its beauty, but they may not fully understand the iconography. So today, we'll go over all the icons on the San Damiano cross. This is an icon cross because of the style of the images that it includes. Iconography is an awesome fort of Christian art. With its detail, it more fully communicates the meaning of the crucifixion of Jesus. On this cross, Jesus is portrayed as both wounded and strong, regal and suffering. Apart from the nails in his hands and feet, take note of the halo and his promise, prominence on the cross. Jesus is surrounded by many witnesses on the cross. The major witnesses are the second largest figures, the Blessed Mother and the beloved disciple Mary and John on the left. On the right side of the cross, we find Mary Magdalene, Mary, mother of James, which is the wife of Cleopas on Mark 1540, and the centurion of the gospel according to Mark, with an onlooker at his shoulder. This is the centurion who said, and I quote, Truly this man was God's son. This is in Mark 1539. His hand gesture, a classic position of Christian witness is a traditional sign for I am speaking. The minor witnesses include the soldier who pierced Jesus' side in John chapter 19 verse 34, traditionally known as Longinus. He is the smaller figure below Mary, holding the spear, standing beneath the droplets of Jesus' precious blood. In some art, he is shown with the blood dropping in his eye which is then healed, as goes one tradition of its blindness. The miniature opposite side is Stepaton, which is bad Greek for sponge, whom Umbrian art pairs with Longinus as a soldier who offered Jesus the vinegar-soaked sponge in John chapter 19, verses 28-30. At the end of each crossbar, six angels marvel at this event, their hands representing awe, discussion and imitation. The figures at the bottom of the cross are the patrons of the area, Saints John, Michael, Rufino, John the Baptist, Peter, and Paul. The rooster at Jesus' left calf represents Peter's denial in John chapter 8 verses 20, uh, 25 through 27. The resurrection and the ascension are depicted at the bottom I'm sorry, at the top, Jesus in royal garb, brandishing the cross like a scepter, welcomed by ten angels, alive by the power of God's hand, which is shown at the very top. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that's it for today. Just one note before you go out and buy one of these beautiful crucifixes. Please support our churches, missions, and abbeys by visiting their stores and buying it there. That's where I bought mine. Make it a special day to head out to a special place to buy a special gift. And now we end with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our works give you honor, and our voices celebrate you forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.